The following is a pre-recorded paid political announcement. sixth president of the United States, thrust suddenly into leadership of the free world by the tragic assassination of John F. Kennedy, returned to the nation's capital. He came with grief in his heart, but he also came determined that the young president he had served did not live or die in vain. John Kennedy's death commands what his life conveyed, that America must move forward. And now the ideas and the ideals which he so nobly represented must and will be translated into effective action. The promises made that November day were strong promises. One by one, they have been kept. An $11 billion tax cut proposed by President Kennedy was signed into law by President Johnson on February 26th. The president sought and won support from both parties in passing a bill to fulfill our founding father's commitment that every American have his full constitutional rights. The anti-poverty bill expressed the president's and the people's determination to eliminate poverty from the richest nation in the world. It was signed on August 20th. Led by the President, Congress passed five significant bills on education, more than any other Congress in recent history. The President signed the Wilderness Bill, saving threatened areas of natural beauty. He signed new legislation attacking the problems of transportation and housing in our cities. New programs to help ensure the farmer a fair reward for his labor. In fact, 45 major bills were passed. But the President's leadership was not felt in the halls of Congress alone. He helped to settle a four-and-a-half-year-old conflict between the railroad companies and the men who operate the trains, averting a strike that could have paralyzed the nation. He cut the federal budget. Only the second time in ten years this has been done. And federal expenditures have been kept below the level authorized in the budget. When American destroyers were attacked in the Gulf...